It's time to change the counter. Hello there, Mr. Aymara. Uh, that allows me to... Tavancinuyu, the empire of Inca decision. Hello guys and welcome back to my campaign where I'm going for a very hard achievement called Frankfurt into Ants. It required me to start as Frankfurt, so a free city in HRE. From Jerusalem, which you can see already did, and then at the end we have to own Mallorca, already done, and form Inca. So we are pretty much only racking forming Inca right now, which required us to move the capital to the new wars, already done. And uh, the next step is to change our culture to one of these ones in uh, the Ants region. Change our religion to Inti and then form Inca. And if you're not subscribing yet, this is the perfect moment to do so, as we are gonna release plenty of videos from this series. So you should get notified about them, which you can't if half of you are not even subscribed right now. I started with the colonization of Panama, which will give me the colonial range, I hope so, uh, to Quito. And then once I have that, I'll start conquering these provinces here. You might also remember that I went for a special build, Infrastructure Exploration, which is giving policy for Plus One Colony Development Boost. And I have Age of Discovery bonus for exactly the same, which is here. So in theory, I should be getting 6 development for each Finnish Colony, and it works. This free development algorithm is at 9. Why my capital after finishing increased from 9 to 15. Right now it's 20 because I developed a few times. Ooh, oh, we became a great power. Number 8 with 451 development. It's not gonna be easy to change both catch and region. That's gonna be a lot of destating and sharing us incoming. Our golden era just finished, but I think we used it pretty nicely. And I'm about to attack Tyrona. This is gonna be an important war. How the hell I don't have a... I had a claim, but they migrated. So I'm gonna attack Tyrona in some time. That's gonna be a crucial war because that's gonna be my first province that is animist. And remember, you can't just flip from Catholic to Inti. So if I would like to be Inti, which I don't because animist can form Inca, but if I would like to be Inti, I need to flip animist, which is the only pagan religion to which you can flip for rebels. Only the enforce. And that's not gonna be easy for all the development that we're having, but yeah, achieve that. And lastly, I'm gonna start doing claims on every nation here to get as many unused provinces as possible, which I will be deving a lot. Once then, we need also rebel. The first two unused provinces are in our hands. I couldn't take this, but there's a piece of the inferior where you can, you know, make them stop migrating and disappear. But I want them to migrate, so I'm gonna, in a few years, declare another war and take other province. Next step is to declare war on Arawak. Or Arawak. And we'll keep... Don't you say they moved. Uh, they freaking moved. Uh, I guess I'm gonna attack Guarani then. You can see I could annex migratory state. But please migrate and keep increasing the amount of my provinces. By the way, Protestant Reformation just started, which means in 10 years Age of Discovery is gonna end, which means also this bonus is gonna end, but I'm gonna keep my bonus from the policy. Good news is that Panama finished, and uh, remember, it had free development, now it's 9. I'm at the points cap, but I want to spend all of my points on having the Animus provinces, so maybe just for now, let's just go and state it. And do a few death things. Here we go, Mr. Sino. Few things to be done here. First of all, state and core. Because I'm calling just four development points. Look at the devastation. And then start converting. Just don't pay for the missionary. Which should uh, get us the. Mmm. Mmm. Prospering times. It should get us the anime zealot. You can see. Now, next step is to decrease to get the rebels faster. Encourage development. Do I have the burgers loyal? I do. Just uh, leave it up to 20. I'll do the same with every single anime's province. Just to make sure uh, we achieve success. Unfortunately, Ledger does not show uh, the split of regions by development, only by amount of the provinces, so this is lying. Attacking Muisca, I can get Quito into the world. Question is, what's the colonial range? See, Panama did not give me enough of the colonial range. So I have to colonize another province here. 
which is fine for now. I don't want indie provinces. We need to focus on animist before we go into Inca and ants. And guys, I just noticed that Muisca is indie, not animist. So potential don't want these provinces in our hands. But you know what? These provinces are easy to be converted, right? They just next by the rebels. I will take the Muisca provinces. I'm just counting development and right now I believe my Animist Provinces already have 90 development, which is not yet there. We need, at our current state, we need 303 development of Animist Provinces, but we are getting there. Okay, Animist, let's, uh, let's go and provoke. Please change religions everywhere. We also got on Brains the Institution. Let's just see the size of... These are super small. So how about I take three loans, we pay the one person loans, I should wait, but I don't have time for that. Uh, take the loans again, use this money to embrace institution, and take the technology and lock, yes, expansion ideas, which I won't be leveraging much until I flip to animist, but for now I'll be leveraging them a bit. Uh, while finally uh, we gotta repay some of the rest of the free person loans. Small update on the development, 148 is already animist. Now we need to get these rebels into the other places like Panama, the like capital, and ideally to Europe, which is gonna be tough. Well, 2-3-3 three, three areas don't be best, I'm gonna disinherit and try looking for something better. My mill manager is also not the best because of the war taxes, which I'm gonna cancel. Make it a bit better, same as two many generals. How about we cancel this boy and uh, yeah, it's still not perfect. France is asking to get their air. Why don't we try? Yeah, not too good. But he's older than the ruler, so I'm gonna risk and keep him waiting for his natural death. The rebels don't want really to move, so what I will do, which is weird, they should. I'll start colonizing these two provinces, uh, creating uh, a tunnel for them to get into Panama, uh, which should work to get into this uh, 13 development province. And honestly, I'll start getting into Inti provinces. I'll just also create a tunnel over here to get the rebels to start converting to enemies. It worked, guys. They got to Panama and they are moving to Summer Town, which is our capital. I love it. My second stack is moving. To the Inti provinces, all perfect. Oi oi oi, Air Force Eel, and now I want him to die. Just look at him surviving that. How? How? 75% to die and he is alive. Quick update on the development of convergent provinces 250 free development. Why would it 350? You know, I could do it very easily by just releasing some nations in Europe, but I don't want to do that. While I'm slowly converting the new world, I will go ahead uh, to our homeland and uh, start exploiting development a little bit, because I can. While of course I'm decreasing the development that is not animist. At last, Cardinal Sings, which is a noble from the Blue family. 656, please. Guys, we did it. Look, animist will become the new state regime of Jerusalem. Now, I just need these guys to enforce their demands, uh, which is gonna be soon. So having this in mind, I will white piece Cusco, or maybe break the alliances, right? So Cusco with Charka and Ichma. Okay, cool. Ichma, uh, I won't actually their province, because uh, this is Lima province, uh, which means it works like with Aztecs. They have a province modifier is called Oracle of Pachacamac, which if you are Inca, you own this province. And uh, you're not Inti, you might convert to Inti for an event. And that's gonna be our goal. But actually, it's not like needed right now. How about we just break the relations white piece? And actually, from these guys, uh, we might also white piece. No, I need border with uh, Cusco for sure. So let's just take these two provinces. In the meantime, I can take tier 6 Gantry form, which I think is gonna be stage general. 
uh, to get better rulers, but for now, no, no, for now I want to get my heirs, will just not pick anything. Capital siege down, I think this, yeah, this should start ticking up. It's 89.1%, we are really close for them to enforce. You know, that's the worst part of changing the region to Pagan. I can't just accept the demands. They have to break the country in order to do that. And honestly, if I release something with two promises in Europe, I will be done. Should we do that? Württemberg, took Garten, Urach. No, we need, if anything, we need something to not break. Mainz, something of low develop. Pisa, Urpino. It's not low development, but. Yeah, let's release Florence. Of course, uh, divert trade, because we are collecting a bit here. And now, yeah, this doesn't matter. Now the rebels should be super close to enforce. Yeah, 18 months and it's done. You know what will hurt us with that? I cannot recover the princess because those, you know, lose the progress. I guess 20 autonomy every single province that is occupied by them. So all of this, not to mention freaking devastation we have here. We have to build the economy in the gold mines here, and you can see Portuguese Peru was created. And remember, as my capital is in the new world, the overlord won't be called into this wars. We did it, Reddit. We are 100% towards enforcing the bands. Please enforce, and we are gonna be pagan and to be exact animist. <laughs> Jerusalem for a while, you know what would be the next step and it will hurt a lot. The next step is to culture convert to one of the cultures here so we'll be able to form Inca. Third goals. Tick, 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 tick. We lost uh, the Holy War Castle's bellies. We got tons of autonomy, which means that I will go actually and start decreasing it everywhere. And we will have to start to building our economy. Won't be easy because of the devastation that I just mentioned. But it is what it is. We have to handle. Uh, what's the decision that we have? Convert to Christianity, Islam, encourage the nation. Uh, actually might be useful. And I'll not use any of this. Yep. Then the technology. Please take. Please take. I'll not go to hard into technology because I need plenty of admin mana to call the provinces again. And as for the government reforms, we have to choose the first one because I cannot be a crusader state anymore. Uh, how about we become a feudal nobility probably or autocracy? And tier 4 has to be also changed. Well, we will need a religious unity, especially initially. So we have plenty of provinces to convert. Ah, uh, oh yeah, we are not paying for the missionary. Just take a look. Oh yeah, yeah, it won't be very hard. We just start with the ones that are impacting on our religious unity the most. We need to speed the things up, so I'm declaring on Portuguese per as well. Remember, as I told you, this is weird, but if you have a capital in the new world, even if you're reformed as I am in Jerusalem, right? I missed, but Jerusalem, I can declare and. Of Lord cannot do shit against that. There it goes. I want all of these princes from Portuguese Peru. I could fully annex them, but that's too much of an extension. Power points. And I want on this specific culture provinces. Just give me money. Uh, I could concentrate, but I actually don't want to do. I mean, I could concentrate this. Because I want to accept and make this my main culture. The, most of the gold mines are here. So, how about we do that? And start coring everything. We will like a couple far points, but it's fine. And that might be an issue with the rebels, but we have to handle. Oh, France. Uh, they want all of our provinces. They, they broke alliance with us. This will get really interesting. At least for what I can see, I could ally Great Britain instead because Great Britain is not interested in South America. So let's start improving relations with them. That's the even I was talking about the Oracle of Pachamak. Pachachamak. I could destroy the temple, but instead, I want to become Indian. Thank you so much. Nationalist is gonna be helpful. Missionalist terms is gonna be even more helpful. So, we can go into converting even more. 
And uh, remember, we are immediately reformed, so we are getting uh, Mapara Recovery Speed, uh, Colonist, Legitimacy, Morav Armies and Co-Creation Cost. So I can uh, send my third Colonist uh, on the north because I want to start controlling and connecting all of my lands. I actually just hit the Diplo Points Cap and I am covering most of the points. Is there anything I could state? Uh, from the right culture, let's double check. No, this is Portuguese culture. I don't need that. I want promises from all of this. And you know, I, I don't really want to develop something outside of this culture because it's gonna be important. I'd rather lose some diplo points actually. You know, it seems that uh, the nation is not the best state. We are losing 30 tickets monthly, etc. etc. But worries you not uh, especially with 18 until 30 loans we're gonna fix it for gold mines so first state done let's fully core it is this state having any gold mine yes the first gold mine is here i hope that i cored it if not we're gonna do it in two months no i have it cored right yep uh, so we can go ahead and get the death cost and start spending all of our diplo points on all of the gold mines and it's only you know more income but also at the same time let's get a production also at the same time we're causing development of this culture and this culture which is called aymara we need to get it to 50 percent so besides stating and having we have to state some provinces so besides stating here i will have to start the stating on the north and looking under devastation, I have to do that anyway. Uh, we'll have to fix that over time, but for now it's uh, it's the most important part. And uh, yes, I'm here. The most important part is to culture convert. So I have to take these measures to achieve that. Okay, let's see the percentage change. Uh, I managed already at 17. So we might have to end up this stating uh, back home. But we'll see about that. That's the last promise that I want to destate because I have prosperity there. Uh, the two gold mines. Potosi is a key because it's not only 15 development, but it's also not having the modifier for the goods produced. Ah, oh, yeah, it's coming from this right now. For, oh, yeah, I'll have to improve it myself later. That's fine. For now, just core. And decrease the autonomy. We got a. Uh, Wait until the war is finished, but in the meantime, I can anyway start the wing as much as possible. So with this little changes and not stating uh, these two gold mines, we are already at 14 point, like perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. 16 coming total. That's not bad. Uh, we are a long way there still. You can see how much I'm paying for the missionaries. Ah, uh, yeah, because I started converting promises that I just destated, which is fine. Uh, I'm at least 23%. So now what we want to destate? Do you want to destate this? Yeah, there's no prosperity. This, uh, I'd rather not. Prosperity is there. Uh, this as well I can destate. And this one also I can destate. So now we are 26. So we have 12 of Swabian, 26 of Rhinish, 5 of Venetian, Lombard. It's not gonna be easy. Oh, I hate it. But I, that's what I have to do. You say this state, the state. That's already 31. Uh, that's uh, another one. That's 33. Uh, I could also do under round of uh, reducing the, de the development here. And I should have done that before the stating. Maybe it's not do that. I could ah, let's just do that anyway, even though it doesn't impact the number that we are looking for. Money is money. Uh, right now it's 33%. Yeah, I have to destate more. I could think about adding all of this to trade companies. Uh, but there's so much development in these promises, guys. 40% in mana, I will get the rest for deving. No, screw it. Uh, let's destate Palatinate as well. That makes it 47. Now, a few death clicks and we are done. Mr. Great Britain is great to become your ally. Uh, France is no longer my friend because they want my promises. And I will do the same with... Wanted to do the same with Poland. Uh, but that won't work because uh, they're rivals with uh, Great Britain. It's time to change the culture. Hello there, Mr. Aymara. Uh, that allows me to... 
Tavansinuyu, the Empire of Inga decision, which changes a straight to Inga and an empire. It's also new missions and ideas. Let's take a look at the Inca and idea. So Inca is having force limit, idea cost, prestige, dev cost, uh, tax, um, empower discipline, construction cost, production efficiency, land attrition, max hostile attrition. And I'm looking at the bonuses from the Jerusalem ideas. Well, the missionary bonuses are convincing me, honestly, a bit more than the dev cost and construction cost, because uh, I want uh, to convert everything to Inti. So I'll just keep the Jerusalem ideas. And that should get us the very hard, according to gain achievement from Frankfurt to Ants. Easy, easy. But it doesn't mean I'm gonna end here. I want to fix this country to repay all of the loans coral of the provinces and unite most of the south america because we could also go for achievement that i don't have and is specifically for inca which is asangat which form inca embrace all of the institutions and own all of the south america so simply start with stating everything but focusing on inti provinces and especially provinces uh, that are having gold mines so Fully state Cusco, fully state this beauty. Wait a month and decrease autonomies in this. We need more money. We need more money. You can see this already 60. And now just state bridge everything that we can to start rebuilding our economy. I can also at last uh, abdicate, which gets our 18 years old 656 on the throne. And uh, we can really start building out the country. I send two technologies behind the admin and this will keep increasing. I'll have to find a nation with great technology and start stealing it from them. How about you go for Austria because we have, yes, a rival modifier for quicker spy network. And I'm not gonna go too crazy with this. For now, I'm just only taking the provinces uh, around Peru. In the future war, I will focus on these beauties as well, but there's absolutely no rush first bonus i would take from age of reformation uh, is uh, the beauty so prestige coming from converting the provinces and as i have plenty of provinces to convert it's time to pump up these numbers guys we got a freven war from france we want italy ferrara to be exact Well, I have better things to do than fight with them. Just screw this Ferrara. Look, even though I'm running five colonies at the same time, I'm still at pretty much zero balance because my income is already at 98, 40 coming from gold. Yes, that's the prosperity coming. And, uh, you know, even with our 6k debt, it's not that bad. Remember when I started building Spine on Austria? Now look, I have 10% uh, tech cost from my admin tech, which cost me only 240, and I will be taking it soon because gaff capacity might become a problem soon. It's time to embrace the institution. Uh, that will require, again, a couple of loans, but we are already used to that. Let's embrace it. That hits the midpoint cap, but I can take the technology right away, one another one, and we really need an admin tech soon. You know, I have such a good ruler, he's gonna stay for a while until this guy gets on the throne. Let me just uh, get some guarantee for the tier 6. How about we go for the reform progress? And I'm really close to get tier 7 soon. My average autumn is 27%. Yes, that cost 217. That gives us more GAF capacity, which means I can stay at some missing provinces. Now that I got the tech, I'm actually gonna focus on decreasing inflation. So I got the mission for it. And, uh, you know, 25 is a, a bit too much. Why I have a good bonus, I have innovativeness and I have promote merchant guilds bookkeeping, which I think is this uh, bonus here, which is in Paris, Parnum and this. Uh, so it's just 46 mana per reduce, I'm gonna get it down very easily and my balance will keep increasing. See, it wasn't even hard, there it goes, inflation is very low, my balance is 46 after the buffing a bit higher, almost 50 of balance already even though i still have 6000 of that i'm gonna invest this 1000 lakas that i saved into potosi gold mine where the first level is uh, just goods produced local and uh, for the whole area goods produced modifier 
The thing should be nice change to the income is 55 earning from gold once they start doing this. Let's pick this up with my manpower because I have problems with it. Let's take a look. 55, 60, so another 5 income for us. It's needing a month tick? I don't think so. Yeah, it's 60. And the next levels are even more interesting because it's more good plus modifier, but also interest per annum. So we'll be definitely investing into that. Also, we are about to call the last province. This is a miracle. I don't know how much we've spent on all of the scoring, but we spent a lot. And we delayed finishing expansion, yes, uh, quite a bit. But it's time to get the rest of the ideas now. Look at this perfection. We are coloring the wasteland of Amazonia. I can also take tech 14, which unlocks me the new idea group. Uh, which is gonna be something diplomatic. I just have no idea what to use. I have an achievement. So now I think my end goal is gonna be unite most of the continent and become economic hegemon. So let's go to take trade ideas. Another expansion idea is giving me tariffs, which of course is useless, but more importantly, deeper water reputation and maximum power. So this is already on level of 127,000. I can also repay all of our 1% loans and I can take them again, but of course, just as a bigger size. Just go use this 5,000 to invest into a couple of manufacturers. The face when you find gold in one of your provinces, you know, I could min max stuff and just uh, keep looking uh, for the provinces a chance of the gold and reroll the provinces if they do not find gold but I'm too lazy for that. Just look at the value that is going out of Caribbeans. We really need to start saving mana to conquer it but first I want to get fourth colonies. I'm saving half capacity so how about we destate everything in Europe and we add it to the trade companies. Maybe if good investment it will allow me to get the merchant here but at the same time just look how much we are saving of capacity 150 and now let's go Venice Rhineland which is still my main node I'll have to switch it to Caribbean I think let's take a look at first it of course decreased my income from taxation and production but then we want to increase it on the trade side and that's not gonna be an easy stuff let's see where we are close to get actual merchants so uh, Adriatic is 17 and a half so it's Venice it's 8% in Catalan, 1% in Iberia, 9% uh, in Genoa, and 26% in Rhineland. And I think Rhineland is the closest to actually get something out of that. I'll just go ahead and start investing. The last idea in expansion is global trade power, new autonomy in the territories, uh, which won't help us much actually, and a policy for the settlers increase, which I'm gonna use, even though that cost me Diplo points. So the income keeps increasing with the buildings down, improvements to trade, trade companies, it's already 220. So I'm not gonna fill the next carry bus because of amount of like, expansion generates. If I took any more provinces, that would take Denmark, France, etc. into the coalition. Right now it's pretty much just Portugal plus colonies, and colonies cannot join the coalition. So just take this, uh, take full money, nice. And a couple of reparations. Wait, what? British Columbia just joined coalition on me? How? My royal died. It's time to finally switch to stage general. Which will allow me to move to 5-3-3. Too bad his status, but still fine. Oh, guys. Spain just increased the price of uh, cocoa. Hot chocolate by 35%, so right now the price is 5.4. So we to find a province with a plantation, exactly what is building here. And uh, see the, yeah, 1.1 from production, but it's just two development. Ah, this is gonna be so nice. You know what's the funniest part? I'm at war with the British Columbia. Well, of course, they are a secondary part of the war, but Great Britain is willing to except call to arms against their own colony. Honestly, I'll go right away for Spain and Brazil as well, so they don't join the coalition. And simply because I want to fix the borders, that might cause France to join the coalition. Uh, we'll see about that. My trade power in Caribbean is strong enough to move the main node here. So we just go ahead and move it to Aruba. That will allow me to start transferring here, which might not be worth yet, but let's take a look. 139, I will lose trade power in Europe, so I expected this to decrease right now, 121. But now we have to start working on organizing our merchants, 
like for example collecting here that's what i've been telling you slowly increasing the trading counts what i've been doing i'm collecting panama because too much trade is leaking from my caribbean steel because i'm keeping 40 value here 40 value here and another 60 in brazil which i'll be increasing for trade centers after all these years commonwealth remember what about me they offer the alliance by themselves and we've hit 400 income but we're not getting stopped there almost 2000 development as well you might think why i have 10,000 dollars on spending it well i got an even for plus i believe 50 Team personal construction because I'm waiting till 1619 to invest heavily. I also not investing in absolutes because I don't even need it here. Okay, boys, of 19,000 and uh, the event for the construction cost ended. Let me go and take one person loans and invest 25,000 into new manufacturers. You know, this great project in Quito uh, is one of the Maybe not, I'm not, maybe not gonna say the best because it depends on your preferences, but one of my favorites because it's giving both reinforced speed, 33% and trade efficiency. The manufacturers are coming to the end and I'm really hoping for over 500 income after they're done, which is really possible. Let's just take a look. We've got 431 and we need two month, three month ticks at least to start using that. So one month tick, second month tick, some of them already finishing, it's 435, 455. We need, to, I think, trade also to update. 482, and this couple 486, and one more update of the trade. 494, almost 500. And you know what with my balance? Let me take loans to get our interest a bit higher. I still have huge balance. And I will invest this money into even more of the manufacturers. Maybe the worst terrains, but we are stacking as high income as possible. Caribbeans are now cleared, which should help me increase the percentage of the trade power we are having here. I just have to core the provinces first and state them. And in one second, another batch of the manufacturers is being done. Oh boy, what is happening in Europe? France is under personal under Hungary. And Congo is fighting to get them on the PU. Some final action at the end, I attacked uh, Denmark to get the provinces here. So that gave us into a Commonwealth, which I thought will be busy fighting, you know, France, Russia and everyone. No, the, they are focusing on us. Okay, guys, there we go. Last piece deal today, I believe. Promise from Guarani and a promise from Inca. Do I need Malvinas? I need both Malvinas and Isla San Pedro, right? It's just South America, South America and this. Also, it's South America and it's the hands of Portugal. You guys hate me, but I will not care about this today. But I'll take this to islands. I just have to occupy them. I'm telling you, I'm having currently all of the provinces in South America, except Galapagos, which we don't care about. That fixes the embarrassment a lot, even though my capital is still in the Caribbeans. We can still pump it up. I can take a policy that I was uh, rooting for, which is trade efficiency. These are also interesting. And I'm gonna take this one. 940, 976 of income. And now keep in mind, I can develop the best uh, provinces with the best trade goods. Just go ahead and click uh, it a couple of times and we'll see what's gonna be the difference. Okay, after deving 980 and we need to update the trade income right now as well. 983. Now just take a look that, uh, yeah, our leaders is indulgent. So I could get out of stage general. Just go for this. I think it's gonna be 999. Exactly 1000 income. And how is that? Well... <sighs> We have really good trade goods in the South America, like for example, cocoa that is 5.4 value, or sugar which is 3.7, or the one that was diving, so tobacco that is 4.5, that's plenty of money. This is gonna be all for today, so if you did enjoy this campaign and you'd like me to do more of these crazy challenges for the crazy achievements, let me know by liking this video and of course subscribe to the channel to get notified about these future videos. Bye!